in the latest in our Markets and Focus series. Let's spend a few minutes looking at the UK hand car wash market. Well, this is a service industry that's come under increasing criticism in recent times. Uh, two key complaints refer, first of all, to the labour market, where many people are expected or thought to be at risk of exploitation from monopsonistic employers, uh, some of whom operate outside of the law. And there's an increasing environmental aspect to the industry in particular from the negative production externalities from the chemicals used in the market. The hand car wash sector in the UK is largely self-regulated. There is a British Car Wash Association uh, and many local, local firms operate in the informal economy, which potentially can lead to a loss of tax revenue. So there are many thousands of hand car washes in the UK and they employ tens of thousands of people. Making a distinction here between the fixed uh, car washes you often find at supermarket petrol stations, for example, and the much more informal hand car wash sector, which dominates many towns uh, in, in the UK. Now, this sector, this industry, has consistently been identified as an industry where people are at risk of some or multiple forms of exploitation. Indeed, it's been linked to modern slavery. The industry has a reputation uh, that it will it'll do well to get rid of, I think, for employing undocumented workers who often paid wages well below the legal minimum wage. It's a classic industry where there are many, many competing firms producing slightly differentiated products, essentially an opposite competition, and typically pricing charges for car wash or valet vary according to the car size and whether people want an interior clean and valeting option as well. Now, the classic prices range from about £9 to £15 for an exterior wash only, although some car washes are known to charge as little as five or six pounds. And low prices for hand car washes often indicate that the national minimum wage is not being paid to workers. And as I say, we'll mention this in a second, the big environmental concerns about the industry. This is a classic market where the entry barriers are low. That leads to a highly fragmented or contestable market. The costs of setting up uh, a jet hand car wash are fairly low. And indeed, wages are very low in this labour market. Well, why is that the case? Well, first of all, there's a lot of competition. The market is highly competitive. Therefore, profit margins are thin. And businesses look to cut costs, variable costs in particular, to, retain, to remain price competitive. And typically, many businesses use their monopsony power, their buying power, to pay low wages to employees. Now, point one is linked to point two. The hand car wash industry has a reputation for employing largely undocumented workers. Typically, they have to work long hours, often in poor conditions, the wind, the rain, the snow, and even hot weather, of course, during the summer. And a high percentage of employees are typically migrant workers. Most people employed in the industry are not represented by a trade union. So people don't have any collective bargaining power to try to negotiate better pay and... Uh, uh, more generous and uh, more feasible working conditions. And uh, there's often weak enforcement of existing employment laws. The industry body, the British Car Wash Association, have, uh, have launched a responsible car wash scheme, but there's growing evidence, including university research, which suggests that the majority of people working in the industry are not being paid the minimum wage, for example. Uh, Nottingham University published a report in the autumn of 2022. They said that in their survey, only 6% of car washes had written contracts for their workers, whilst only 1 in 10 handed out pay slips, you know, the weekly or the monthly pay slip, so they could prove they were paying minimum wage or holiday pay or statutory sick pay. So I think this gives a good indication as to the informality and the fragility of the incomes of people in this sector. They are part of the people in precarious employment. This is clearly a labour market where employers have monopsony power. In fact, there's some evidence, of course, of gangbuster activity in some towns and cities. And there is a big environmental aspect also to consider. 
Now, going back five years now, the UK House of Commons Environmental Audit Committee published a report on the car wash sector. It's well worth looking at. And I'll post a link on it in the comment section of this video. They estimated, based on their research, that up to 10% of the UK's total daily supply of water was taken up by this industry. Much of it uh, sourced illegally from public standpipes. The industry is claimed to generate significant negative externalities from production. So don't forget, of course, many hand car wash markets, they're not, they don't have built-in infrastructure which could deal with uh, treated uh, water. So car wash wastewater from pressure jets, for example, can contain phosphates, detergents, surfacants, oils, traffic film remover, uh, lots of other debris and detritus which can find its way into the into the drains and the water system. So it's a really important example of an industry which uh, which has significant negative externalities. So perhaps thinking about this industry as part of your revision for your exams, could you draw the following diagrams? I won't go through them uh, in this video, but there will be videos in each of them, of course, uh, on the YouTube channel. So could you draw a labour supply and demand diagram showing why average wages are low? Typically, for example, the labour demand curve has a fairly elastic shape. It's a low marginal revenue product. And the labour supply curve is highly elastic at a low wage because there are many, many people who could work in this industry and are willing to work at fairly low wages. Uh, for some examples, uh, AQA, for example, could you draw a monopsony labour market diagram showing the possible exploitation of workers where the monopsonist charges a lower wage than in a competitive market? Could you draw a diagram showing the possible impact of a minimum wage and how it could affect the industry, assuming that workers get paid the minimum wage? And critically, as we've just mentioned, could you draw a market failure diagram showing negative externalities from production, of course the divergence between marginal social cost and marginal private cost, along with the possible deadweight loss of social welfare. So this is a good example of an industry where there'll be lots of scope for really good analysis diagrams to get those high marks. Well, there we go. That was a quick look at a controversial industry in the UK, a service sector industry, with very low wages and increasingly environmental concerns. The UK hand car wash market. Thanks for joining in. Take care, stay safe and see you soon.